All right, today we out here once again with the Toro Miata. Got my boy Jody taking off the shifter. Today we're gonna be changing the clutch because my shit is damn near completely burnt. Only catches first and second like a tiny bit. Third, fourth, and fifth are all useless. I definitely did it too much clutch kicks at the last event. Although I'm sure that this clutch is not rated for 150 horsepower clutch kicks <laughs> at Ready Set Drift all day. Ooh, it doesn't look too bad. A little gray, but it's not black. One more power power plant frame bolt. Imagine saying that like a hundred times. I still don't know what a power plant is. It's a power plant. <laughs> and then after that, I think the transmission is ready to just take out the bolts and drop it. Yo, my dumb ass was not even recording. We just got the transmission out though. What is that? Like what actually is that? Fur material? Designer. See what's going on. Let's start. First gear. Okay. We got movement. Second working. Third working. Okay, that's valid then. Let's check for reverse. Here we go. Today we're out here. I'm finally gonna give my Miata the exhaust that it deserves. Right now it just has the downpipe, the CX Racing downpipe, and the CX Racing flex pipe. And then it has stock piping into a Jackson Racing muffler. My boy just got a nice clean NA, super clean, way cleaner than mine. He hung out with me one, for one day and now he got some cleaner shit. Like this shit is super clean, no rust, no nothing. Nice exhaust, nice wheels. So we're gonna switch exhaust. My boy doesn't want a loud exhaust. I do. The turbo will quiet it down a little bit and I think it'll work out for both of us. I think we'll both get the exhaust tone that we both want. Okay, so this is what we got going on here. This is the CH Racing downpipe, CH Racing flex pipe that I guess I've been scraping up. This is like, yo, how big do you think this is right here? Like two and a quarter, two and a half? Yeah, no, that's two and a half. Two and a half? Two and a half. Yeah. And what do you think this is? No, that's the same size. Same size? Same size. Okay. Yeah. I also got some new wheels for my car. I actually got two sets of wheels. I got these like, fake RPF1 looking thing. And I got those white wheels in the back that I'll show in a bit. Ended up getting both for a steal. But yeah, I guess this is what we're doing today. Hopefully we can get some shredding later. Maybe some donuts, maybe a car meet. Who knows what the day might bring. Oh, you, gotta, you gotta floor it. You gotta floor it. Sounds good. I like that. I like that. Yeah, now it's getting the flow it needs. Now it's breathing. Now it's breathing, bro. Yeah, I fuck with it, bro. Now it's breathing.
right, we're back from the exhaust shop. Now we're about to dive into this power steering setup that I just picked up for an unbeatable price. Got the power steering rack, pump, reservoir, bracket, some belts, some hoses. Hopefully that's everything I need. I'm gonna throw some power steering in this thing because drifting without it, I feel like it's holding me back. I could be wrong because I am pretty new to these things, but I'm gonna put some power steering in it. I got it for a great price. I should be able to do it all by myself within a couple of hours, hopefully. is out honestly if i wasn't trying to film and get some angles probably would have had this out in like 20 minutes finally able to get a filmer for this video from Indeed. <laughs> Everything's looking pretty good, getting the wheels on. The alignment is definitely 100,000% completely out of whack. Like, literally horrible. Like, I'm probably gonna need to drive straight to the alignment shop. I think it's ready. I'm not sure. It's like too good to be true. Like, it was just too easy. All right. The pump is moving, so that's good. I put some fluid in it so it wouldn't run run completely dry on the first startup. It doesn't look like anything's leaking. Put some more fluid up in here. I turn it left and right, like full left and full right, like slowly. Bleed it out a little bit. There it goes, getting bled. Bubbles coming out like crazy. Yeah. It's working? Yeah. All right, so there we go. Power steering is working, I guess. Simple as that. I mean, shit, if I wasn't filming and shit, and I didn't take like a break and have to go stop at the, at the auto zone or whatever, get another hose, I definitely could have this done in like two hours, like easy. Feels okay? Yeah. All right, just go, yeah, go left and right, slowly a couple times, bleed it out some more. Yeah, get some more fluid in there. It already drank two bottles already, but fuck it. So uh, stay tuned for the next video where, yeah, I put this car on E85. See how much power it makes after that.